We are going to go grocery shopping. A lot of sensory overload. Sensory hour. This could result in a meltdown. Let's go. Good morning guys. Welcome to today's vlog. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We've just got Jacob here today and we are going to go grocery shopping. So we know that people who have autism or autistic people tend to not like the shopping center because it can cause a lot of sensory overload, lots of bright lights, lots of noise, lots of people around. And so we're going to bring you guys along and show you how Jacob reacts to that sort of sensory stimulus and um, yeah, how we just manage it. Usually we have two kids, however, because we've got a camera, we've only got one. So <laughs> we're going to show you that. It's also a good idea to go when it's not too busy. Mm -hmm. Like it's the middle of a work day. Yeah. So it's probably going to be less busy than if you were to go in the afternoon when school's finished or work's finished. They have a sensory hour, which is like on a Tuesday from 10 to 11, I think. And, you know, some people can't always make it to that hour. So I really think that shopping centers should get on board and should just be inclusive all the time. They should lower the lights. Those lights are just inappropriate they don't need to be so bright and the music doesn't need to be so loud so i think they should have that all the time there are so many people out there with sensory challenges and i think it should just be a thing like i don't know what do you guys think should it be a thing all the time like a communal thing like everyone needs food type of thing so like even when jacob's like older if he was at the point where he could actually go to the supermarket by himself it should just yeah. be all the time they don't, it's it's unnecessary to have like, uh, maybe maybe so much maybe even half day or something yeah half not day just half one day hour, like yeah one hour, one hour is a small window and go Sensory overload is the overstimulation of one or more of the senses, making it too difficult for the nervous system to process. Jacob often experiences sensory overload when we go to the grocery store, so we're going to show you this today. Visual stimulation could come from the bright fluorescent lights. A grocery store has lots of people, lots of movement, and so many food items everywhere, so many options. Audio stimulation could come from the noisy crowds of people rushing by, carrying loud shopping bags, bursts of laughter or children screaming, the squeaky shopping trolleys, or even the beeping of the cash registers.
There are so many other things in a grocery store that can cause sensory overload, but you'll often see Jacob fiddling with something or he'll be rocking back and forth. He's trying to regulate himself. If there are a great number of sights and sounds and smells occurring at once, it can result in sensory overload. And this could result in a meltdown or some completely shutting down or running away. Trying to understand the experience of sensory overload is a powerful first step in helping people with sensory challenges. Okay, so we're back in the car now and um, Jacob actually did so well at the shops. Um, yeah. There's a few factors that probably did help is the fact that there's two of us and only one of him um, and we're a lot calmer than usual. A lot of the time I'll go to the shops, if I'm taking the kids, I'll go by myself with the two kids and sometimes it's the two of us, but if there's two kids, it's, it's Very stressful. hard. It's very hard because um, if... They, they can kind of... Set each other off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jazz kind of sets Jacob off a lot. Yeah. So he, I think, picked up on our calmness, and it was a pretty good, you know, go. If she's by herself, it's cool. If he's by himself, it's cool. Yeah. If they're both there, yeah, m like, more than double hard. Yeah, so sometimes Jacob will get upset if we're checking out and he has to put a food item over that he really wants. Let us know how you guys go with shopping and what you do, whether they sit in the trolley, whether you don't even bring them at all. Or if you um, get it delivered! Oh yeah, we should do that. Yeah, we I know. <laughs> I think that I prefer going in person just because I don't have like a list. I just go through the aisles and we just pick. But um, definitely have heard a lot of people doing deliveries, but I think it's good for Jacob to get out anyway and... Um, <laughs> he's not gasping for his life, he's just making noises. It's good for him to get out and do those types of things. I know that he gets stressed in some situations, but yeah. Let us know down in the comments how you guys go with shopping, doing your groceries. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye!